What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite for an emergency video here for you guys this afternoon going over the multiplayer premiere, brand new rewards, plus even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and as a big reminder, there's going to be a lot of brand new article coverage also going up on Detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things Black Ops 6. Last week was already really hectic with some brand new marketing and Season 5 Reloaded, but of course this week we have the COD Next event. I have just landed in DC, I'm doing a bunch of vlogging, so you end up seeing a nice video about that in the next few days and i'm also prepping for the big stream later this wednesday i'll be live here on the channel as early as possible wednesday morning breaking everything down when it comes to multiplayer warzone and zombies but as of today new viewership rewards did get announced for the cold bowl which is going to be streamed after the cod next broadcast later on throughout wednesday afternoon so these viewership rewards just to be clear are only for modern warfare 3 these do not carry forward to black ops 6 but you could of course use all of these indefinitely over in warzone so we of course have an anime animated emblem called Every Bit of Bravery, a loading screen called Far Out Flexin, and the Please Rewind Weapon Charm, followed by the Bowl Buzzkill Weapon Camo. Now, you have to watch the Code Bowl for specific amounts of time. That's 30 minutes, 60, 90, even 120, and you have to ensure that your Activision ID is linked with either your YouTube or your Twitch account. The same will also apply to the COD Next Viewership Rewards, which are actually going to be for Black Ops 6. You'll be rewarded with all these unlocks on day one, October 25th, and the rewards are just like Code Bowl. You'll get these for watching for 30 minutes, 60, 90, even 120. You'll get things like the Mine Emblem, the Earning Stripes Calling Card, the Try Harder Charm, as well as the Redactor Weapon Blueprint. I believe that AR Blueprint is probably for the same weapon that one of the Mastercrafts is for in the Vault Edition, but I'll keep you guys posted with that one. Now, earlier today, as I was hopping on a plane, the multiplayer premiere did go live on the Call of Duty YouTube channel. The trailer was absolutely phenomenal, and as you can see from the preview, we're going to be seeing the return of Wilson. You can see a really nice trailer moment with the Tomahawk. It's unclear clear somebody's gonna be able to pull off a moment like that where you can dodge somebody's tomahawk that was thrown at you by using omnidirectional movement to kind of just evade in a different direction you can also see some clear shots of some of the mastercrafts from the vault edition all of which will be usable in the beta which begins on august 30th we also got to see what looks like some type of gas under barrel launcher which is quite different from what we've gotten in previous call of duties that had under barrels like that and you can also see what appears to be momentum based movement down an escalator so being able to use omni movement to your advantage and if you happen to kind of be on a slope or an escalator in this example then omnidirectional will work in your favor to really dodge something like an rcxd for example and the rc is of course back and better than ever here in black ops 6 we can also see a clip of what appears to be a new map that we've had no previous marketing for i'm sure the name of the map is probably known somewhere but as of right now they didn't actually reveal that but we also got to see what appears to be a 6v6 version of pit and pit's going to be a strike map which is probably designed just for a 2v2 in gunfight you'll be able to play 6v6 on those maps like face off from cold war but there appears to be a different multiplayer map also set in vorkuta which i'm sure the name has already leaked out for but let's wait and see the full map list once the game does officially drop we also get a nice clip of the gunsmith which i'm sure we're gonna get a blog post about probably tomorrow i'd assume this is before cod next but there's also a chance they market this at some point later they'll probably give us an in-depth deep dive as to how the gunsmith is gonna work they might even just unveil that fully during the cod next broadcast we get a reminder about Prestige Master returning. And we also get about a split second of Klaus laying on the ground, followed by a shot of Brutus getting electrocuted. That is absolutely poetic here for the Black Ops universe. And then we can see some nice shots of some kill streaks, and then a bunch of operators doing the sitting bull position. Now, it's great to know that a lot of our zombie operators are going to be playable in multiplayer. Maybe you have to do a challenge while playing zombies to unlock these characters for other modes, but we've already seen plenty of footage of Maya and now Dr. Gray, so we could assume Carver and Weaver will also be joining this lineup at some point by October 25th. Now, it was also clarified today that this is what we're going to be getting during the COD Next experience. You obviously have information here for multiplayer, including live gameplay, uh, beta map showcase, game features deep dive with Treyarch, and even more. So I'm assuming this could be the order in which the stream actually is structured. So maybe when the stream begins, we'll be on MP first, then Zombies second, which is surprising. As it says here, you're going to be seeing some Liberty Falls gameplay. And yeah, you're going to have content creators jumping into a match, hopefully for like an hour or something it's unclear and then they also mentioned a deep dive with Treyarch about all the brand new map features going into Warzone though we're going to be seeing a showcase of Area 99 presumably a brand new resurgence map that was developed by Treyarch which would make it the first Warzone map Treyarch has ever really worked on I mean their last battle royale map was from Blackout in BO4 I know Alcatraz Portals was made by I believe Binox or High Moon Studios but they also mentioned a gameplay features deep dive with Raven so they're probably going to just depict how omnidirectional movement will impact the Warzone 
Warzone ecosystem altogether, and they end up here with a mobile rundown. It's unclear how this is exactly going to work with mobile, but apparently COD Mobile is also making an appearance this year, whereas in recent years, they only went ahead and showcased Warzone Mobile at COD Next for MW2 and then MW3. So we'll have to wait and see how Black Ops 6 is going to impact the mobile scene in the next couple of months. Now, we also got a pretty looking graphic for all the beta rewards from Weekends 1 and 2. So as it says here, you can unlock this during either weekend. So at level 2, you're going to be looking at an animated emblem called Beta Tester. You get the letters B-O, you get the number 6, and of course, a cool looking Cerberus logo. That's going to be one of those rare rewards that you can only earn, of course, during this limited period. At level 6, you can get your hands on a No Bugs Charm. And then at level 11, there's going to be a Beta Spray Tag. So the fact that sprays are coming back, emotes, this is going to make the cosmetics in Black Ops 6 amongst what I'm thinking are going to be some of the best in recent years. We then have at level 15, a Quick Draw Emote. And again, the Winner Circle is returning. I'm assuming that's going to be something we can use during the beta. So hopefully we're able to uh, flex our emotes at the end of every multiplayer match. And then at level 20, this is a weekend one unlock only, as it says. We have an operator skin called Squish. So notice how at the top of every reward, it clarifies whether or not you can earn this reward during either weekend or just one. So this is a reward for just early access, right? If you don't have early access to the beta and you're going to wait until open access the following weekend, you will not get your hands on this Squish operator skin, right? Pretty cool looking outfit with the gas mask. And then there's a color palette swap with an identical looking skin called Squash. This you can also unlock at level 20, but during either weekend. So again, if you only play the beta during the open access period, which is weekend number two, and you hit level 20, you'll just get this operator skin. Hopefully that's very clear. So at least you get two operator skins, though, if you do decide to play both weekends of the BO6 beta. But then we have at level 23, a Truth Lies loading screen, which looks absolutely phenomenal. Also confirming again, the type of cosmetics we are going to be seeing in Black Ops 6. Loading screens are going to be coming back. But then at level 27, we have the animated calling card called Beta Expert. So obviously there's a level cap at 20, it seems, for the first weekend, and then they'll increase the level cap by another 10 during the second weekend. So at level 27, there's going to be an animated calling card called Beta Expert, featuring that Cerberus-looking logo there. It says Beta on the side, indicating that, yeah, it's going to be one of the more rare cosmetics in this game. Last but not least, though, at level 30, we have the blueprint called Bug Smasher. Now, I know some of these rewards did leak out several weeks ago because of that early build that people out there were playing, but it's good to finally have some official marketing for what rewards we're going to be able to earn here in Black Ops 6. This also lines up with a little tradition that we saw the past two years in a row with the other COD Next events where they end up revealing a lot of the beta rewards prior to the broadcast for the actual reveal. But this is also a file size reminder that they've included in the blog post for the Black Ops 6 beta. If you've gone ahead and played Season 5 Reloaded for MW3, then the good news is your download size for the BO6 beta is going to be significantly smaller. But if you don't play Season 5 Reloaded and you don't boot up MW3 anytime soon and you just wait for the beta to come out, your download's going to be, I would say, a little bit over double what that first number was. So for PS5 and PS4, you're looking at uh, 34 and 15 gigs respectively, but that'll be around 80 or 67 if you don't decide to play Season 5 Reloaded. For Xbox Series X and S, followed by Xbox One, you're looking at about 35 gigs and then 17, but a whooping 75 or 52 if you don't play MW3's Mid-Season 5 update. For Battle.net and Steam, it's about the same. You got about 32 gigs for each if you play Season 5 Reloaded, but then about 74 and 66 if you don't. Last but not least, the Microsoft Store, 29 if you do play the mid-season, whereas it'll be 68 if you do not. Now, don't forget the big COD HQ overhaul that changes the entire layout of the launcher isn't going to be releasing until mid-October, but you will still see a section at your COD HQ menu right now for the Black Ops 6 beta, which is where you're going to be opening it from starting this Friday. Now, last thing we'll end with is PC system requirements. So these also got revealed in today's blog post for those out there that are interested. This is very important to know just to ensure that the beta does run smoothly for your hardware. Obviously, when it comes to PC specs, everybody's computer is built a little bit differently, so it's important to just know what your system can handle. I do plan on making a best settings type of video at some point soon, probably closer to the beta, and you'll certainly see an article getting updated over the next couple of days as we learn more information about how to best run Black Ops 6 if you're on PC. Obviously, there'll be settings that do work very well for the beta that may be changed a bit for the launch window. So I'll end up putting out as many updates as possible just to ensure you guys can run the game as smoothly as you can. But that is about it. This has been DK. Dynamite, leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the multiplayer premiere that we got earlier today? How are you feeling about all the brand new rewards plus everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.